This is the man suspected of killing five people in Norway, Espen Andersen Braten. He's now in custody. His attacks started at this supermarket. He used a bow and arrow as well as other weapons and left behind a traumatized town, Kongsberg, once known for making coins, now shaken by nightmarish memories. I saw a man walking with an arrow in his back. A man with an arrow in his back? Yes, that was the off-duty officer who'd been in the shop. And he told me to head home. There are still scars of this attack and memories of chaos and fear. I was nearby, then I came to the scene, and then I heard warning shots which the police fired, and then I saw some arrows, but I did not see the man, he who had shot the arrows. Norway has a brand new prime minister. One of his first tasks to try to sum up the feeling of grief. Men det er også en veldig spesiell dag å presentere en ny regjering på. Fordi vi har opplevet i Norge, i Kongsberg, og oss alle som fellesskap, et fryktelig grusomt angrep mot uskyldige mennesker i går kveld. Police here say this appears to have been terrorism. It's understood the suspect had converted to Islam some years ago and was known to the security service. He'll be assessed by a psychiatrist. But for many here and across Norway, this is bewildering. The rates of violent crime and murder are comparatively low here. So when it does happen, it resonates. Right now we have opened the church and it will be open throughout the day. People can come here to get someone to talk to or be with someone. They can sit in silence or light a candle. Norwegian police believe people were killed at random. They say Bratton has admitted his guilt and has been charged with murder. Adam Parsons, Sky News.